Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Easier said than done, right? I have leaned on my own understanding so many times. Okay, when I was dating unbelievers and got rejected because I was the crazy Jesus girl. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Jesus comes out of my mouth. It just happens. He's in my heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Uh, I leaned on my own understanding uh, when I was hurt, when I was depressed, when I was suicidal, and I was running to all these drugs to numb the pain. And I was treating the symptom, but not the root. That's what a lot of the healthcare system, they treat the symptoms, but not the root cause. So you keep coming, you keep spending your money. But anyways, the fact is, I did not come to God the healer who could just heal me. And he did. He healed me from trauma, from being uh, molested as a child. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But when I lean on my own understanding, when it's like I've leaned on a broken wooden chair that is just ready to break down completely, right? It's just wobbling. And I'm leaning there and you know, when you lean on your own understanding, it's, it's just like, it's unstable. You're not sure. And actually, you're bound to be let down. It's gonna break, you're gonna fall, you're gonna be let down, you're gonna be disappointed, you're actually gonna get hurt. Instead, lean on God's understanding. God's understanding is infinite. He has the bird's eye view. He knows the past, present, and future. He knows, I mean, he's the God of the impossible. Look, it does not matter what your circumstances are. Lean on God's understanding. He's provider. No matter if you have two cents in the bank, God can give you what you need. He is your father. Depend on him. Don't be dangerously independent. Depend on him. You're a child. So leaning on this brick wall, God's understanding, okay? What his word says, not what, you know, logic says, like human logic says, Leaning on God's understanding is like a brick wall and you're leaning there and you're like, not only are you stable, not only are you sure, not only are you trusting, right? Because nothing's gonna break that wall down. I mean, you're, you're, you're staying there, but you are resting. When you lean on God's understanding, you don't have to figure things out. You steward well the time, the money, and the job he gives you and the people he gives you, puts in your life, and he does the rest. You know, just, just knowing that God loves you unconditionally, knowing that God is for you, he's not against you, it changes everything. It's a total different ball game. I mean, really, when you believe that, when you accept that love, it's like, you know, it, it changes everything. I mean, I'm just, I, I live in peace. Do I have moments where I get scared and I get anxious and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Of course, everybody does. But um, I always bring myself back to the truth and I remind myself of the God who saved me out of that mess, that mess, that mess, that mess, and that mess. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't be led by your emotions. Let your emotions be led by God. You know, the heart is deceitful above all things. The devil uses our emotions against us. The heart is deceitful above all things, but God is telling you to trust him with all your heart. Let your heart be led by God. Don't be led by your heart and your emotions. Okay, so does not matter what man says, even what you think sometimes you think you can't do it or you think that people say you can't do it well god says you can so you got this